today we're going to be in Orlando, Florida, downtown Orlando, Florida. We're going to talk a little bit about a film location here that has some Orlando history attached to it. Lethal Weapon 3, the very opening of the film. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Let's visit a filming location from Lethal Weapon 3. Now. Let's take a closer look. A little backstory here. This is Orange Avenue. Right across is City Hall. The original City Hall sat right here from 1958 till 1991. October 24th, 1991. They had a demolition of that City Hall and the brand new City Hall that sits here today was constructed right behind it. In fact, they demolished the building that sat here while this building was right behind it and it can be seen in the film. All of that took place right here on October 24th, 1991. We're gonna talk about that history and match up some shots from the movie. We're also gonna match up some shots from the, the aftermath of the rubble here. Let's do it. Gonna walk across here, Orange Avenue from South Street to match up some shots. It's crazy, every time I drive by here, I'm like, this was used in Ernest Saves Christmas, as well as Lethal Weapon 3. Now I'm gonna insert this photo. You guys can see the city hall used to sit the way it did in this photograph. That was how it used to look. All right, crossing once again to match all this stuff up. So the city hall that currently sits here in Orlando cost $36 million just to build that. But they had a problem. They had to demo the city hall that was in front of them. And well, Hollywood kind of basically came in and took care of that for them. So basically what happened was Orlando spent $36 million to build this city hall. Well, the old city hall from 1958, the 58 city hall was still sitting there. And they were like, what are we going to do with this thing? Well, we could blow it up, you know, we could demo it. Well, let's see if we can save those costs by calling some people who could be potentially making a movie or wanting to do something with special effects and see if they could offset the cost. And that's what they did. So with a $50,000 deal, Richard Donner, director of Lethal Weapon 3 and his crew went down, carefully executed how everything was gonna go down that night. And it happened. Riggs and Murtaugh, successfully blew up the building in the opening. And we're gonna match up those spots and talk about what happened that evening and show a bunch of different perspectives from news clippings in the actual film itself. But now you know the backstory on why they were gonna blow this thing up and how they basically got Warner Brothers to pay $50,000 for it. Pretty cool. So the team that was in charge of the demo took them 10 months to carefully plan this execution they even took out a $20 million insurance plan just to make sure that the new city hall was covered just in case something happened. And in fact, a few, I think five windows were blasted through with the explosion. All right, crossing over to city hall. We're gonna match these parts right up. I'm excited about this, but want to do this for a while. No better time than the present. All right, so this is kind of the, the same spot right here. You can see the, the old city hall to the left in the photo. It kind of is like in the form of a boot, if you will. Like it's kind of like a shoe shape and you can see the new city hall where that sits. And it was a crane getting ready for the shots and everything. And then like no joke right here is the same angle. You can see a little bit of a crane and the old city hall right there. This was all the setup for that day, October 24th. I'm gonna walk over here to this other side because there are two shots. One looking the way we just did at this building and then the other one looking back the opposite way, more over here from after the demolition. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is it right here. That's pretty wild. That building behind the uh, the city hall here to the right overshadows that older building. 
You see the top of that building right there above my thumb? That's it, right up there. All this has changed around it. We're gonna go over here and match up some photos. I just wanted to point that out so you guys can see that it does exist. For the beginning of the film, Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, Riggs and Murtaugh, Murtaugh and Riggs, are detonating a bomb. Like they're, they're kind of like defusing the bomb, you know, cutting the red wire kind of scene. What a way to start a, a movie, by the way. This was like so action packed. In fact, there's like scenes of Mel Gibson and Danny Glover talking about them, like doing the demolition for this scene. I'll insert that now. This is from the news station as well. Now, I've never seen a building get blown up and then disappear before. I mean, this, will, this is going to look like it goes to the moon. You talk about taking an action film and taking it to another level. Certainly, we're going to take it to another level by opening the film by blowing up the building. I we're going to take it to the eighth floor. Yeah. <laughs> so we're there inside, and then he says, oh, one more thing. Grab the cat, and then they make a run for it. And this all goes kaplooey. Okay, straight ahead was the International Control Systems. You can see Mel and Danny walking out. Shouldn't say walking. Hauling butt, running out the front right there. That's where more or less it was. This is what it looks like current day. This whole area has completely changed. A good way to go off everything is the new city hall in the background because that kind of shows you where everything was. And they had different shots showing windows being blown out and, and whatnot, just like in this scene. And then there was a wider shot showing the International Control System Inc. building with their sign up front. So there's a side profile shot from up above and you can see in the left hand corner, a bunch of bystanders, like locals hanging out, local news filming it. I'm gonna insert some footage from that night from Wesh you guys can see their footage. We see all the cops from the film who were parked here on the street on Orange Avenue and straight ahead in the shot where you see the explosion happen on the original city hall. And then there's the wide shot of Riggs and Murtaugh running right across the street surrounded by all the different cars. And in the distance, you could see the building behind that in the shot you no longer can see that it's been covered up and completely changed i wish i had a helicopter because we're standing right where that explosion happened and this is it about the best i can do the bohemian hotel here cannot be seen the shot and this building's been added and all of this the city hall and the explosion happened here and all of this has changed it's changed so much since then. October 24th, 1991. There were a lot of people out here watching all this happen too. Now there's some crew here. This is a part of the uh, the bomb squad here. And there's like a whole backstory with uh, how one of these guys basically helped make this happen. I'm gonna put credit where credit's due. I got this photo from that whole video. Check the video out. Should be a link for it right above right now. But this photo of Danny Glover, Mel Gibson, and the crew, the bomb squad crew, took place right here after the rubble in front of the uh, the new city hall. They were standing like right here because you can see how this rounds and that goes straight down. This is basically looking at that right there. And so imagine the building looking like this, you know? So when it was demoed, they essentially wanted it to go like someone just took it and pulled it straight down. That's kind of how demos go very well. Well, it, it did in fact do that. They had it after those 10 months that they worked on, you know, particularly like how this was gonna go down. Richard Donner and his crew and everyone who was involved with that, they, they successfully did it because the shot was great. They only had one time to do it and it did go straight down right here where we're standing. All took place right here it's mind-blowing to me it's kind of like one of those nights in orlando where like the moms and dads were like hey hop in the car they're gonna go blow up the old city hall and mel gibson and danny glover are gonna be there let's go watch this kids because there's like news footage of all these kids in their pjs and their moms and dads like hoisting them up looking over the camera crew trying to get a glimpse 
of, I don't know what they wanted to see, the movie stars or the explosion. But the next time you're out here at Dr. Phillips Center on Orange Avenue, just know that Danny Glover and Mel Gibson hauled their butts out of a building because it was in fact gonna blow up whether they made it out or not. They did their own stunt in this shot, by the way. That's right, they timed it to where the actors knew when to run, do their lines, jump over the car while the explosion happened. It's pretty crazy. That's like, hold on, Tom Cruise. Have you ran from a building like that before? But this place certainly has changed. But I just wanted to put my spin on this filming location. I'm sure it's been done several times. But this is a 2024 version here. And the next time you think about this city hall, if you're ever down here outside the parks and visiting downtown Orlando, I highly recommend stopping off here. Just take a photo. You could recreate the photo of Danny Glover and Mel Gibson in the Bomb Squad. And you know, this is a filming location. It's pretty cool. Five of these windows were busted out. I wonder which ones. I think there's footage online of them showing that. Not much has changed from this place, so you know this is pre-90s, early 90s, this city hall. Oh, and check out the movie Lethal Weapon 3 if you haven't. The movie has been out for quite some time. Uh, uh, 1992, I believe, was when it was released. But if you want to see a little glimpse of Orlando in the early 90s, check the film out. But I think we took care of business here today. That's it. I will see you guys on the next adventure. Thanks for being my friend. And I will see you on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.